no other rip here in the game console. This is a PS4 Slim. The model is a CUH2015B. After power surge, this one completely stopped working. We have the power surge season, and it's uh, good for the electronic repair business. That's how it is. Let's plug it to the power. Push the power button. Nothing. There is no beep, no light here. It is completely dead. So let's take it apart and we check it together. So usually the power surge in the game console, it will hit uh, mostly one of the two things. The power supply or the HDMI. Because the power supply, that's what is the console connect direct to the power. And the HDMI, that's what it's come uh, from the TV. If the TV goes bad, it's going to send the high voltage to the HDMI and will burn the, the HDMI IC. So this is what's mostly the problem. It's a little bit dusty inside. And because we have no power, we are going to go and check the power supply. Be careful to don't touch any component in the high voltage because you may get a uh, zap over there. Well, before we plug it to the power, we check the fuse, of course, and the resistance mode. The fuse is good. The fuse is good, this means the rectify bridge is good all the way to this uh, MOSFET here, should be all good. If this MOSFET is short, this fuse is going to blow. There is a low ohm resistor, it's a common, it's go back to this one here. Yeah, this one is open. All right, let's check the, the pins and the... There is no short between the, the gate, the source, and the drain of the MOSFET. There is no short. I don't know, that's... Let me see if that's the one that I'm talking. Yeah, that's a low ohm resistor over there. Is a brown, blue, silver and gold. So definitely that one should be like tested as a wire. So this connector, we're going to need to have the 5 volt standby. This is AC and this one like if, if you want to have the 12 volt, you're going to share this one with this one and you're going to enable the 12 volt and we have the ground. 5 volt is here. This standby it should be always on. So let's check the 5 volt standby if uh, exists. Yeah, alright, let's start just checking a little by little. Of course, we are not going to have no 12 volt here because there is, we are not uh, sending the, we are not shirting the enable pin to the 5 volt to enable the 12 volt so that's good or well, that's okay we check in this 
B capacitor here we have 160 volt that's good and the standby is here so let's put this one on the ground and we check the standby voltage so no standby voltage so this standby voltage is coming with this uh, transformer so this is a diode from the transformer there is a diode then we have the standby okay the standby uh, is controlled with this uh, this MOSFET this switching MOSFET I fixed many of this power uh, supply before this is a MOSFET for the the standby transformer and this IC here is controlling this MOSFET like switching on off with the signal from this IC the first the first circuit is gonna work in the power supply is this circuit here the 5 volt circuit so we don't need to check anything else we have to check this 5 volt if the if it's getting the voltage in if the voltage VCC and voltage start coming to the switch in IC if there is any signal going from the switch in IC to the MOSFET there is any connection between the switch in IC and the gate of this MOSFET then we check if this MOSFET is good and we check this diode if it's good so this is the positive of the of the capacitor we have 160 volt and as you know the the ground that's what it's going to the MOSFET like if we leave this one at the positive and we go all the way to the source we should have 160 when you see the switch in IC always look for a capacitor close to it small capacitor close to it that's where is the VCC so this capacitor here must be that's one is the VCC capacitor so we can check the voltage in this capacitor yeah we have no voltage let's check if there is any search in this diode yeah no search let's go to the diode mode and if we flip but reading is uh, kind of strange okay let's check the this MOSFET here is good here is okay oh. We have some strange reading here. This is 0 0.06, so there is an X on this on this MOSFET. There is an X on this one here. Right. So let's check this MOSFET here. If there is any short. So no short in this MOSFET. So on the gauge we have a low ohm resistor and we have a diode. The diode is going to read uh, the short because this there is a low ohm resistor here. So we are going to need to take this diode and check it. This diode here. We're going to remove this MOSFET. After we remove this MOSFET, we're going to replace this resistor here because I need uh, the voltage from this resistor to the IC. So 
So if I do have the voltage in the IC, that time I can check in the oscilloscope. I check if there is a signal coming out from this IC. So let's remove this this one here and that's one. So far, we replace we replace this resistor here close to this MOSFET and they replace this diode here. So let's plug it to the power and we check some voltages. So we still have our 160 here. So the 160 this is the positive side of the capacitor. It should be go all the way to here. To the source of the MOSFET, that's good. And now we put the negative side of the capacitor on the ground. So that's our ground. We check in the switch and I see this one. The pin number H is HV, high voltage, or voltage start. We have 92 volt is good. And the pen number six, VCC, we have 11 volt, that's great. The drive pen number five, we have eight volt. So we have the voltages that's the switch and IC need to work. And I just I need to see if the switch and IC making the wave. So let's go to the oscilloscope. So let's put this one in the ground. And we are going to check in the drive first, the pen number here. So in the oscilloscope, we have the square wave. You can see it over there. And even we can check it here in the gauge of the MOSFET. It's right over there. Square wave, and that wave is telling the MOSFET to turn on and off. So if we put the MOSFET right now, the MOSFET is going to start cutting. Going to start cut the ground to the to the transformer. So I'm not uh, still I'm not sure if this because this diode is good. I have like a hundred ohm something here. That's very low in the output diode. Let's look for our replacement MOSFET and we'll go from there. All right, let's check this MOSFET that we got it from another board. All right, this MOSFET is good.
the diode, I'm just going to solder the, the input of the diode. Then I will measure on the top of it if I am having 5 volts. quick check here to see why have a hundred ohm here so let's go to these capacitors This fuse is good. But this MOSFET is good. So I'm going to inject 5 volt to here and we see if any component getting hot because that's very low, 100 ohm is very low. Yeah, the power supply is showing like it's taking a hundred uh, over a hundred milliamp just the four volt okay let's yeah definitely this IC is is getting hot Let's watch it carefully. You see the IC is getting dry in the middle. Yep. So we I'm gonna replace that IC from this board and we see if that's gonna fix the problem. Let's measure the let's measure the resistance and the output diode after we replace this IC if we still have that hundred ohm. So now we have uh, kilo ohm, that's great. Two kilo ohm, three kilo ohm, four kilo ohm, and it's still going up. Let me put the diode back. And this looks like everything is good to... Yeah, this, this is the diode.
so now let's see if all that work we did if this board is gonna work or not by the way I have a similar board I have a board that I can do some modification and make it work but I want I want to fix this board so we can uh, together uh, learn something on it so yeah I plug it the board there is nothing burning there is no smokes that's good so let's check this capacitor here if we have any voltage in this capacitor we have 17 volt that's the VCC if we have a voltage in this capacitor it means the MOSFET works sending the wave to the transformer transformer has the primary side has two coils one coil here and one coil here this coil is connected to this diode connected to this capacitor and sending the VCC to this chip so let's see if we have the 5 volt output and here you are 5 volt standby we are good so just we put it in the game console and see if it's gonna work Yeah, the console turns on. So we are waiting for the display. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you again.